What's good on everybody? I wanted to share this again. I know I think it's probably been over a year since I talked about it, but this altered card database is done by TiffanyCards.com. Really good database is put together to where you could find um, altered cards to serial numbers that are, you know, um, fake and stuff like that or been taken out of the PSA uh, registry and stuff like that. There's just a bunch of good information onto it. So I'll put a link in the description just so everybody can have this again. But when you go down onto it, you'll see the different sections here that you could click on to stolen cards, check certain numbers, your sports, other cards. Well, I will say it takes a while to pop this up. So that's why I already had it preloaded up. It took about, you know, a good th probably 20, 30 seconds because it's a huge database. The one thing I wish you were able to do onto here where you could export this list to Excel because it would make it a lot easier. Uh, with that being said, I know it would probably be a lot of work to do, but you could sit there and, like, I did Tom Brady just as a search in football. There you can't see because it it's, like, right at the very edge, there's a little window there. <laughs> but 79 Tom Brady's. And you can sit there and look, there is a ton. Let me find where they went to here. I think it's below this. Upper Deck Iconics. Just look at how many there are. A lot. All altered out there. BGS, PSAs, stuff like that there. And I believe if you click this, it brings you to the blowout thread that you can find what you're looking for onto it and stuff like that. Let me click this off. And I don't know what this is. Oh, it just talks about who reported. Okay, that's who they got the information from. But really good stuff because you got the serial numbers and stuff like that here. So my guess offhand is that if I had to do a quick search on this, I'll pull this back up to the top. I would probably, instead of looking by player, take the cert number you have. And just do however you have a search. If it's on a computer, you know, control F. It talks about it here if you have an iPhone or iPad or Android, how you can get the find onto it. But I would put the search in for the cert to see if it pops up or not. Probably the easiest way to do it, other than if there was a way to download the list to it. But a lot, a lot of cards on here. So if you ever find yourself, I mean, you got Josh Allen on to here. I mean, there's tons of players. Even uh, vintage guys, there's a lot on there that's been trimmed or altered. Just something good to have at shows across the board, especially now that we have a lot of stuff on, like, I think it's Etsy, if I recall the correct site, that's selling slabs that look like PSA and making labels that look like PSA out there. So always be on the look for that. Remember on the back of PSA, if you take a... Black light to it. You can see the uh, holograms of the little PSA logos and stuff onto it. I know I did a video on that as well. But just wanted to hit this out there once again for everybody in case you missed it. You're a new subscriber or the video just never populated on your recent videos. This here can help save you a lot of money out there. Especially if you're about to purchase a big card. Run that cert number. Onto this just to see if it pops up onto it or not. Because a lot of cards in question, a lot of these are still circulating out there. And it doesn't have to be the national to where you're going to see this card. You could see it at one of these small, you know, 30 to 50 table shows. person might not know they have it. And, you know, it's going to be up to them what they really, really want to do about it. But at least you'll have the knowledge going, do not buy that card, do not trade for that card, anything out there. All right, everybody, real quick video on to it. Just wanted to drop this. I know we did it uh, a while back, but I want to do a refresher. And then for anybody that's new to the channel and everything, you guys have a link to this as well, too. Very good wealth of information. It was done by TiffanyCards.com on their altered card database. been around for a while. Other than that, everybody, take care. Have a good one. See you next video.